Welcome back to another episode of Ranch Sodak. We weaned calves yesterday, so that's why there's Bellerin going on. We're going to be working in our working system over here. We're putting in a new tub gate on our bud box. We put in a big pipe in the ground, and then we put sleeves on it, and then hooked the gate to that. But we're going to go pull it out of there because it's not really working how it should. We have to adjust it a little bit, make a few cuts, a couple welds, and then that's going to be working how it should. And then we also got to put a walk gate in there. I'll just show you guys that here in a minute. So we're going to get after it, take the tail handler, get that gate lifted out of there and start welding on it. So here you can see we added this pipe, drove this in the ground, and then these are sleeves here that are hooked to the gate. And it's supposed to turn on there, but it's a little jagged down here on the bottom, so that's not helping. Get this whole thing off here. Take right here and cut a smooth edge on this, so then this can slide freely on there. Then you see what I mean? If we strap from here to here, yeah then it couldn't start to roll in there. She needs to be beefed up. Now we gotta put a walk gate in right here. This gate will be cocked all the way back to here. You'll walk here, you'll grab the gate, swing it around, and you'll be able to follow the cows in with the gate, close this, and then once you're done there, you come through this walk gate, and then you're right here in the zone. You can open up the alley, and then you get right here, and run the calves through. We're actually just gonna grind this smooth sleeve that's on that bottom of that other post. We'll go out and grind that smooth too, which is what needed to happen originally. probably as smooth as she's gonna get and then we're gonna throw a strap on there just like that all right we got this ground down smooth as can be rebar put on there strap another rebar strap right there good to go we put a chain on here so we can hook the chain from the loader on there we'll go drop it in place grind down that bottom one a little bit and hopefully it slides on there if we need we'll put a little grease or oil in there and help it spin but these straps should prevent this chain or this gate from binding up very much so that'll be good we're gonna lather up this bad boy <laughs> We're gonna build our gate out of this right here. And then we'll put some conveyor belt on it to make it solid, obviously, because it's in our bud bar. We're gonna tack it together and then weld our hinges onto the frame.
So we got our gate mounted on there. We still have to put a cap on that end, obviously. And then we'll use some sort of spring system up here to uh, make sure it springs closed. So we're gonna put this piece on here and that's gonna bump her up against that pipe in the middle. And then we'll wrap a chain through there, double wrap around the pipe. Same with that chunk there. And we're measuring right now to avoid where our hinges are, our sleeves. So this is gonna be our slam latch for that black gate we just put in there. This will be bolted up against that corn crib that we have in there, and then that's where the latch will go in. You can torch that out now. Yeah. I gotta carry all this crap out there. Be nice to take this gate off though. dagger well if you look your flap is actually what's causing it to be so tight because when we torqued it over it twisted this way which brought your flap and this end to like touch. a pincher right so I should try to bend my flapper some more this way yeah if you can somebody didn't measure right so we're doing some adjustments Well, we were supposed to have this done this morning. It's currently 2.30. Still chipping away at it. Now we're working on making a spring for our gate. What's this even from? The baler. It's a baler spring. The outside one of the baler. So it's extra heavy. Well, we came in and had late lunch, so now we only got about an hour and a half, two hours left of daylight here, so. We gotta go try to finish up this morning project that we started on. That's why you should always have a little more of a game plan before you get into it. And that's what's fun about it. You just get to keep scrapping crap together. That's why our yard looks like a scrap yard most of the time. We got plenty of welding material. Okay, so we revamped our gate. It hits there now, which I don't know if that's what he wanted or not. But now we have this long thing up here. And that's gonna do the spring loading for us. So I need to run some sort of spring off that post back there and hook it to that. So then when you pull it, stretches it, and then it closes and it gets tight.
this one's pretty long too, I'd say. Bonk. think our inks a little more on what we're gonna use for a bungee I think a pulley bungee system would actually be the best if you got any ideas on what we could do leave it in the comments down below but right now I'm gonna pack up and get this crap out of here cuz dad went to feed the calves and I don't know how he wants it done I don't know at all so that's gonna be the end of today hopefully you guys enjoyed us just literally messing around welding stuff pretty much all day but at least we got one gate hung and we got closer this gate's hung and we got the slam latch done. We got closer to figuring this out, but it's still a work in progress. So next day we have to use it is on Friday. So we got two more days to figure it out before Friday. And hopefully we can get her get her working enough that we can use it for prank checking our cows. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and we'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.